What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make rain in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this tutorial, if you'd like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So the footage I'm going to be using is from this right here, stockfootage.com. You can go check them out for loads of free footage. And then the rain effects I'm going to be using is from these guys right here. A download link to this will be in the description as well as the stock footage as well. So as you can see, I have Sony Vegas open up right now and I also have the footage in place. I'm just going to right click properties, disable resample and uncheck maintain aspect ratio to get rid of any ghosting. Now you can see it does look pretty bad and that is because this is set to preview and it's not set to best and full like that. So while I'm making this I'm going to have it at preview and auto but at the end I'll render it out. So for now we don't need any audio so we can delete this track. And the first we need to do is right click and insert a new video track. From there we need to head over to media generators. If you do not have media generators then simply come to view, windows layout and select default layout. Okay, so from there you come into media generators, you want to come to noise texture, then just come down and look for starry sky, and just come here and drag and drop. Before we go further, make sure it matches your video length like that, and now we can come back to this box. So we're going to keep the noise style the same, the number of layers we may adjust, but for now it's going to stay the same. The color is going to, uh, the color one we're actually going to change, so color one we're going to make it white because rain, I guess, is white. Uh, color 2, we're going to make this transparent, so we're just going to drag this bar down like that. And now we're going to head over to the frequency. We're going to have the X all the way up and we're going to have the Y all the way down. And as you can see, we're starting to get these streaks. So now we can close out the frequency, come to the offset, and we're going to have the X all the way up and the Y all the way up like so. And as for noise parameters, you don't really need to touch it, but if you want to change some features in it, you can. You can mess around with it yourself, but in this tutorial, I am not changing anything from noise parameters. So the next thing we're actually going to do is do some animating. So we're actually animating with progress in degrees. Make sure it is already set at zero. Come to the animate button, and this is what you should get. Just like this. Now this is where we're animating so what you need to do is go to the end of the timeline and make sure the progress in degrees is up a bit i'm going to put it at 340 uh, i'll say stick between 250 to 400 and let's just x out of this and play it through and like that we've created a bit of a rain effect now we're not done yet we need to make it look much more better and the way we're going to do that is color corrector on the video itself so come to video effects, come to color corrector, add on the default. Now we're just going to go a bit into the blues here uh, for all of them. So the lows, the mids and the highs, because obviously it's not a nice day, it's raining. The saturation is going to be turned down a bit like that, it gives it a dull feeling. And the offset, it's up to you, you can change, I'll put it a bit of a darker day like so. And I'm also going to make the rain transparent more, like so. And now if we play this through, it looks more of a raining effect. And the final step we need to actually do to make it very um, effective is add on the rain effect. So I've added it on right here. I'm going to make sure it's right at the start. And I'm just going to drag it right there. And let's play this through. And that is how you make rain in Sony Vegas. So that is it for this video. Hopefully it helped you. And I just want to apologize if the mic does not sound the best. I have just got back from my trip uh, from America. I was there for six weeks and I did upload the entire time because I had them videos already scheduled before I left. Um, so yeah, the mic might not, might not sound as good right now. 
The reason for that is because I'm getting my room changed so I don't have a shelf to actually put my mic on the uh, boom stand so right now I have to hold it from hand. But hopefully it's still okay and hopefully you still enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and peace.